Hello grade 6. Welcome to your second week, which we will be taking describing and classifying matter and measuring matter. So we will continue the first lesson that we started uh, in week 1 and we will start a new lesson by the end of the week, which is measuring matter. We have an important note for this week on the 12th of September, you will have your science pretest to assess your previous knowledge. To know where you stand and where what you know and what you don't know in science. As for the objectives for this week, we are going to identify components of matter. We already started with this last week, but we only took the atoms and elements. This week we'll explain what molecules and compounds are. So we, go, we are going to differentiate between all the components of matter. And then we will be introduced to the term mixtures. We are going to understand what mixtures mean and we will identify the two types of mixtures. We have two types, heterogeneous and homogeneous. We will get to know what each one means during this week and we will give examples of each type and then we are going to know how to separate mixtures we have a mixture a mixture is two or more things mixed together and we have to separate them there are many ways and techniques to separate them we will take them during this week such as distillation magnetic attraction filtration we will know what each one means and how we can separate it and give examples on mixtures that we can separate using each technique. For this, we finish the objectives of the first lesson, which is describing and classifying matter. Moving on to the second lesson that we will be starting at the end of the week, which is measuring matter. We will just take a few pages from it. We will start by expressing weight and mass. What does weight mean? What does mass mean? How do they compare between each other? And we will understand how we can convert units of mass. As for this week's activities, we will practice how to distinguish between examples of the two types of mixtures through live worksheets. We already know that, that there are two types of mixtures homogeneous and heterogeneous. So we will do a worksheet with examples of each type and we have to distinguish which is which, which picture is uh, hetero and which picture is homogeneous. And then we will use our ebook for interactivities. We're gonna do a lot of uh, interactive activities through our ebook, which is Savas. We will watch a simulation that can help us understand how to separate mixtures by distillation. So we said that there are a lot of techniques to separate mixtures. There is a very nice simulation that will help us understand distillation in a better way. So we will view it and we will be able to know the process of distillation. We will calculate our weight on the moon and compare it to our weight on earth. So once we start the second lesson, which is measuring matter, and talk about weight, we will know that our weight is not the same everywhere. It depends on gravitational force. So once we get to know more about that, we will know that our weight on Earth differs from our weight on Moon. So we will use an online calculator to see the difference between our weight on the Moon and on Earth. And as usual, we will use online quizzes to assess our knowledge and to know what we gained from this week's lessons. Also this week, we are going to have a lab, a very exciting lab, which is modeling atom and molecule that is going to be about the first lesson, which is describing and classifying matter, since we know the components of matter and that we have elements, molecules, compounds, we are going to model them using foam balls that have different colors, and we will watch a video, or actually two videos, about our final product to have a view of what we are supposed to do before we start. And also, as extra practice, we are going to build an atom through a simulation online. 
So we're going to do a hands-on activity and we will do a model that we can see. And then we will also practice more on how to build atoms and molecules through an online simulation. And by the end of the lesson, you will assess yourself by solving your lab report. Please do not forget your lab code and be prepared and watch the videos through the BC so you can have an idea before starting the lesson. And that's it for the second week. Thank you so much, grade six. And remember, if you need anything, you can come and ask me at any time, anywhere. Thank you so much.